In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to build a landing page for free using MailChimp. Hi, my name is Jonathan Tanner. I'm the CEO and co-founder here at Social Media College. Uh, one of the things I love about MailChimp is they haven't sat still. So originally they were an email marketing software, but more recently they've added a bunch of additional features like landing pages to make their software even better than it already was. It's already the leading email marketing software and they've got even more features now to, to improve that. The other thing I love about it, particularly if you're getting started with landing pages, is that they offer a great free account, so no money up front required. Of course, though, if you want to upgrade the, to a, a paid plan, you're going to get more features and more contacts you can add to that. So what is a landing page? A landing page is a specific destination on the web that you're going to send traffic to to try and get them to perform ideally just one action. So this is very different to a website, which typically has lots of navigation, lots of different things that people can click on. When you're on a landing page, you know it because there's no navigation across the top. And usually there's only one call to action, one CTA button, and you're trying to get people to do that. So sometimes this is to build an email list. So you might offer a free ebook, for example, in order for them to exchange their email list for, then you can start email marketing to them. Uh, however, you know, there's lots of different actions that you can choose from. It might be to download an app, it might be to register for a webinar, it might be to buy your product directly off that particular landing page. So it's really up to you about what action you want them to take. But ultimately, if you use a landing page, there's a much higher chance that they're going to convert. Landing pages equal higher conversions in most cases. So let's dive into it. How do we build a landing page using MailChimp? So the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to sign up to an account if you haven't already. Okay, so you wanna jump into here and uh, put in your email address, uh, create a username, and then create a password. Click on this if you don't wanna receive any marketing emails from them. Now, as soon as you've done that, uh, you're gonna to need to jump into your email. You should receive an email from them pretty much straight away, and you'll need to activate your account. Click on I'm not a robot. Once you're into here, you wanna make sure you select the free plan and then click complete. So you see the free plan comes with 2000 contacts maximum, basically 2000 people on your email list. All right, then just put in some basic information about yourself. Just put a bunch of test stuff in here. You don't need to put your website or your phone number just yet then your address okay. and click continue. And then do you have any contacts? If you don't have any, just click no. And then you can skip through these final two steps. What do you plan to offer or uh, whether or not you want to subscribe to some of their email emails that they send out. Okay, let's go. So now guys, we've set up a free account. So as you can see, it only takes a minute or so to get the free account set up. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our landing page. So if you jump up here to the left, if you click on create and then go down to landing page, just here on the left-hand side, uh, the first thing you're gonna get asked is to give the landing page a name. So we're just gonna call this test landing page. And here uh, you wanna basically just select an audience. So just select test business. It's gonna ask you uh, to accept the T's and C's, that's fine, just click accept. All right, so we come into here and we'll see that there's a bunch of templates, okay? So these are there's not many, uh, compared to some of the other landing page softwares out there, there isn't that many templates for you to choose from, but the good thing about all of these templates is they're very customizable, customizable and very easily customized as well. So you wanna select the one that's most suited to you. Uh, if you're trying to grow your email list, there's a bunch here for lead generation, grow your email list, uh, promote products. You can even accept payments, connect it through to Stripe. In this case, I'm going to just going to select this one here, which is grow your list. Very simple template. And I want to show you guys how easy it is to come into here and edit the, edit the landing page. I guess what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to build a landing page for uh, Sungai Tinggi uh, Beach Villa. So this is a villa over in Bali, and what the villa has decided to do is they're going to offer a free ebook on the ultimate guide to Bali to try and entice people through the landing page to leave their email address. Maybe they've got an Instagram account, they're posting lots of content, and they're trying to convert people. 
they know that once they get that email address, they can start marketing to them via email and increase the chances that they're gonna go through and make a booking, okay? So if we're back in here, uh, the first thing we wanna do is to potentially change the background image. You can see here, this is a very simple landing page and you've got all your elements on the right-hand side, but the first thing we might wanna do is just change the background image. So if you click on that image, uh, you'll come into your content studio. So this is where all of your media is stored. And on the right-hand side here, you can click on upload. And we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna select a, uh, a photo. You'll see this will relatively quickly upload. And then now all of a sudden you can see that a photo from the villa has appeared behind there, okay? So uh, you guys can choose um, how you want that to fit, if you want it to tile or fill, uh, depending on what you're looking at, right? So I've now got a, an image of the villa behind there, but again, you can use whatever you like. Now we might wanna change uh, the logo. Uh, so if you click on the logo, click on the little pencil icon, and then click on replace. Again, you can come into here, click upload, grab the logo. And there you go, so you've got the logo that's come into here. Now, one of the most important things that you want to ensure is that you have a really, really great headline that you're using uh, to entice people to leave their details. So if we click on this one here, um, if you click on edit, you'll see there, um, it's covered on the, uh, on the right hand side. So you can say, uh, you know, download the ultimate guide to Bali holidays. Or whatever you like. Okay, now you can come into here, you can see, you can underline that. Um, you can make you can make words bold, you can underline, uh, you can do all the normal stuff that you can do, put things in bullets, etc. Okay, no, all the normal stuff you can do here, um, you can definitely uh, edit that headline however you like. Uh, in particular, you might wanna look at uh, the different colors that you can use. So maybe we come into here and we'll change this to a, a darker brown color. Um, you can also look at um, ensuring that the font is your actual font. So maybe this particular villa uses a uh, Tahoma font, right? So it gives it there. And maybe we also wanna change the, the size of that so it all fits onto a single line. Okay, so you see here, we're, we're already uh, quite quickly customizing this. Uh, next thing you wanna do is have what's called a sub headline. So this is where you use this space to really just reinforce why people should uh, opt in to your email list. Uh, you can really say whatever you like here. And this is the art, this is the art of landing pages. You know, uh, the software is great, but ultimately you need a really good strategy and you need a really good offer. And you've got to make sure that the copy that you're writing is compelling enough that people will want to do it. So, you know, we put something here like thinking of a holiday uh, in Bali, uh, download our great guide that shows all the best spots for a fun and exciting holiday. Yeah, perhaps it's not the in the world, but you understand what I'm on about. Okay, and so here we what we what we might want to do is uh, center this in the middle, and we might also we just want to uh, slightly increase the size of that uh, that's there, and maybe put what's here. Okay, cool. So we're kind of moving through the different elements now. Um, you see here that we've got the logo up the top and potentially we wanna move that around. So what we can do is actually, we might just uh, click on that. And then if you click on this over here, you can just drag that to the bottom, right? So we've actually decided that it might look better if the logo was, was down the bottom as opposed to the top. So now we've got the ultimate, um, download the ultimate content guide here. And now we're down to the form, okay? So with the form is over here, we might say we wanna capture their first name just so we can personalize the, and you can make that required. You wanna personalize it so that people um, definitely, uh, you've got their first name, so when you're sending them emails, you can say, hi, first name, that's there. Okay, you can add lots of different things. The more fields that you add in here, uh, the, le the lower, generally the lower your conversion rate is gonna be. So just keep that in mind when you're going through. Okay, so we've done the content. Uh, you can look here, you can change the background uh, in there, the font, uh, the size, etc. But I'm gonna actually just scroll all the way down to here um, and look at the button style. So, so you've seen here the button style that's here. So they're using an aerial. So I'm gonna change that to uh, Tahoma. So you see the fonts changed on that. 
Uh, the size uh, is 18, so we might actually want to just make that a little bit bigger. And uh, the color as well. So this is the color of the button overall. So we might want to choose something that's a little bit more on brand. So we'll go for, oh, that's going to be the text, apologies. So let's go back to black on that. Um, what we want to come down to here is the, the background color. Okay, so we want to get something that's a little bit more on brand. So you can enter in the, the colors in there, maybe a little bit more gold. And you get the idea. Okay, so you can adjust all of these different things. Um, there's lots of different things. Uh, my recommendation is always, you're not going to break MailChimp. You just wanna click on all the different features that are offered here and just play around and see what you know you can do in here and that will give you a, a really good feel, right? So there's a you know, little shadow that's come uh, off the bottom there as well. So there's lots of different options that you can choose from and you just wanna pick whatever's right for you, okay? So there we have it, guys. That's that's literally how quickly you can build a landing page that's there. Um, you see, we've built this one out. Um, we might need to change the, right? So we've got a tile here, uh, save and close. Right now, the other thing, guys, just to keep in mind is that there's lots of different features that you can drag into the top. So if you wanted to drag in another image here, uh, you could, right? So maybe you actually go, well, this image isn't really working for me. So I, I would prefer not to use, let's jump back in. I would prefer not to use an image. And that's, that's completely okay as well, okay? So you can decide that you just want to um, have a color for the background or whatever it is, and that, that's okay. So it's, it's very, very flexible in terms of what you wanna do. Uh, you can add in additional images. Uh, you can add in videos into here. So let's say we don't want that. You wanted to add in a video. You can just drop and drag that in as well. So you just play around with it until you find what you want to do. You can add the video from a URL uh, or you can upload the video into the editor as well. So you want to play around until you get to a point where you're really, really happy with your uh, landing page. Now you want to really focus as well. Oops, I've just deleted my headline. So you see here, um, it's okay. Like occasionally you're going to uh, do things wrong like that, but whatever you do, you can always come back and uh, add that particular thing straight back in there, okay? Depending on what you wanna do. So you might wanna add some text back over the top of here and okay, if you recall, we had this about 32. Okay, there you go. That's how quickly you can do things. So once you've once you've got it to a point where you're happy with it, uh, just click save and close, and then uh, click save and close through here. All right, so now we're on to the the test landing page. Okay, so you see through to here, um, you can edit the name uh, if you want to. Um, it's going to give you a URL, right? So if you're on the free version, uh, it's going to have mail Mailchimp at the front bit, but you can actually edit the URL here and you can come in and you can say, you want to ultimate guide to Bali. So see if you do a space in between, it will, it will put a little uh, hyphen based on what that is. So you click save there. Uh, your content, so you can click on it to preview the landing page, so how this is, looks live. So this is what it actually looks live. Um, and so you wanna keep playing around. You can also have, see how it looks on mobile which is really, really cool. So mobile optimization is really, really important, particularly if you're driving traffic from social media. And once you're happy with how it looks, you can always jump back into the editor and change things if you want. So you can edit design just here. Uh, once you've done all of that, uh, there's some options there for setting and tracking. We're not gonna go through that today, but uh, you can install the Facebook pixel on this landing page if you want to. But once you've gone through all of that, guys, you're just gonna hit publish, right? And once you hit publish, uh, you've now got a link, okay? So if we're gonna open this link, you can copy this link, first and foremost, and you can share that with other people. Or you can open this link, so let's just have a look now. It's your la This landing page is now on the internet, okay? So you guys can use this landing page however you like, and it really is that simple, guys. So I hope you've learned a lot from this tutorial and just seen how easy and quick it is to build a landing page. Don't forget to focus 
ultimately, you, landing page has got to look great. It's got to be grammatically correct. It's got to have a nice design. But ultimately, you've got to think about what's your offer and make sure that your copy is compelling to get people to convert, to perform whatever action you want them to do. So don't forget about that. It's not just about design. You've got to think about your offer and your copy as much as the design of the landing page. Hopefully, you've got a lot out of this tutorial. I'll see you again next time. Please subscribe to our account if you want more great social media marketing tips and tricks. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you're informed right away when we release a new video.